Hi guys, welcome all of you in my YouTube channel, the Student Planet and Designer. This is the video series of modeling commands in NX. In my previous video, I have explained some modeling commands up to Swift commands. Okay, so let's start with the next commands. If you have not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe it and uh, press the bell icon for the notification of the next video. And if you have not seen my previous video, just uh, need to go to the description of this video and you will find the link. Otherwise, you can directly visit on my channel, the Student Planet and Design Hub. And uh, there you will find the all NX related video and uh, some uh, theoretical subjects video I have started here. Okay, so you can learn some theoretical subjects from there also uh, engineering subjects and uh, you will find the designing software as a uh, industry practice basis okay so please subscribe my channel and uh, if you have uh, something gain from these videos then please please uh, like share and uh, comment in comment section if you have any query or any suggestion okay and if you have any doubt then you can also comment in the comment section i will definitely uh, reply okay so let's start uh, firstly i am i uh, want to finish all these commands appearing here after that i will uh, go to the one by one every commands with the help of the menu okay so uh, while uh, this is the uh, suppose that uh, up to here all modeling commands and uh, this is the tab for synchronous modeling okay and this is the for surface and this is for assembly so i think uh, i should go first uh, only for modeling commands but i will explain the synchronous modeling and surface modeling also after that i will go to the uh, one by one every command with the help of this menu command okay and this assembly i will explain later when i have fin i will finish all uh, modeling commands okay then i will explain about the assembly something uh, i have explained in the assembly section uh, which is used uh, in assembly but it lies here associative copy of modeling commands then that features i have already discussed in my previous video okay so let's start without without wasting any time so suppose that I want to this uh, use uh, firstly I want to tell you what is synchronous modeling in synchronous modeling you can edit your model without uh, sketching or uh, making any curve okay with the help of the synchronous modeling you can resize your move your face you can offset your region face okay and you can also delete a face all these commands will appear here so let's start to use this command firstly i should have a uh, model suppose that i have this block let's put uh, this one and uh, this 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 specify point i am specifying this point and uh, suppose that this is a block i have and i want to move face you can use move face command with the uh, this type of transformation commands okay motion you can give your face motion with the help of these commands suppose that i want to give firstly a distance because if you want to give the distance ang and angle then let's start with distance and angle suppose that i have this face i want to move it you can move it you have to give the axial distance here and uh, you can give this angle suppose that i want to make like this you will uh, give the angle here okay and you can offset uh, move it this move this face okay in this way you can apply this uh, move command with the help of distance and angle and uh, suppose that i want to use again and uh, now i want to only distance then this you in this you can only move your face okay so firstly you need to select the face just select the face and uh, then select the vectors now you can move this okay 
and uh, third one is only for angle suppose that i have this face and i want to move this above once again Select angle in this face. This one, okay. And you need to select the face. The face is this. And I specify the angle and position. Okay, now you can see you can move your uh, face with the help of the angle only in this way. After that, uh, distance between two points, you can move your face with the help of two points. Firstly, uh, for this command, you have two points. Suppose that I am making a point. cursor location and I am giving suppose like this but it may uh, maybe in other planes so it will uh, create problem ok cursor location so like this ok this way if it is not in a plane okay well, must be it. okay distance so that five you can see from here in this way you can use this okay but generally if you select the exact ones then it will automatically measure this distance okay 